Who would have thought a chicken sandwich could cause such an uproar? When the Christian owner of a national restaurant chain spoke out about what he believes, it ruffled a lot of feathers because what he believes is that marriage is the union of one man and one woman, period. Christians believe that because God said it in his word, and that makes it a controversial statement in some circles. To rabid liberals and secular humanists, it's more than controversial, it's fighting words. They want the chicken to cross the road and believe what they believe instead of what God says, or else. Or else what? Well, or else they'll boycott chicken sandwiches. Or else, as some elected officials actually threatened, they'll deny business licenses for chicken sandwiches. Maybe these guys need a quick civics review about the First Amendment to the Constitution. The First Amendment protects citizens against government action that would suppress free speech and the free exercise of religion. Sure, elected officials can disagree with any statements that are made about any topic, and they can openly criticize any position they don't agree with. But what they can't do is use the force of government to silence speech they don't agree with. That's abuse of their power as elected officials. And just in case you haven't figured this out, there's one surefire way to deal with elected officials who attack Christian beliefs and ignore the First Amendment. Vote them out of office. On every government level, national, state, city, community, we'll have the opportunity to take our beliefs and values into the voting booth on November 6th and to vote accordingly. And if you don't think it's your responsibility to vote, well, to expand on Dietrich Bonhoeffer's statement that not to speak is to speak and not to act is to act, we can also say that not to vote is to vote. We're facing a chicken and egg situation. If we want to see change in our nation, we have to vote to put men and women of faith in office who share our conservative values. It's up to us. So don't be chicken. Register and vote. Go to www.fpiw.org vote.